Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Xbox Series S and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace or upgrade your internal storage on this one. If yours is a 500 gig or one terabyte, you can remove it and upgrade it to two terabyte or whatever storage capacity that they have uh, depending the day that you're watching this. They probably came up with a four terabyte, you can install it with no problem. Is a PCI Express, it can go up to 4 terabyte with no issue. And uh, so in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can open and remove it. Just remember, once you remove the internal storage, you're not gonna have any operating system in it or any game saved, anything. So you have to re-download everything, put everything in it, just, just like buying a new console, put your new account and everything like that. Once you put a new storage in there, you're not gonna have any operating system. So you need to go to a link in the video description, follow the steps by step on that, how you can download the operating system from the uh, Xbox Microsoft website, put it in a USB, plug it in here, power it on, and hold down the power button for at least five to six seconds until you hear the second beep and let go, and then you can you know, restore the system from the USB drive. It's really easy, it takes probably five to 10 minutes and you're set to go. Okay, all right, so in this video, I'm just gonna open it up. I'm gonna go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one, a screwdriver set. A good screwdriver set is a must to have for servicing. I use iFix screwdriver set, and they have one of the best bits out there. We are gonna be using a torque number nine from this tool set. So torque number nine, and cutting plate, a sharp plate is good, because what we wanna do right now, you want to remove these two covers at the bottom on the back of the console. So you want to stick it right underneath and remove it. You can trash it or keep it. This is just to cover up with black uh, screws. So pretty much remove them. Now you're going to use the torque and remove these two screws on the bottom cover. So go ahead and remove them. and put them to one side. Once you remove them, you're gonna put it face down. We're gonna grab the top part, and pull it towards yourself about one centimeter, and we just lift up the cover. Down here, I have a little bit of uh, beef with the console, like with the manufacturer. I don't know why they do it, or they do it in purpose, so people don't upgrade their storage, because they easily could make it accessible, but they're gonna make our lives a little miserable right now. Why? The SSD is right away here, this metal cover right in here, which is part of this one. They could have cut it right through here, make a tiny hinge with a screw, so you can lift it up and remove the storage, but no, they made a little, they covered it up, so in order to get to that one, you have to keep following the video. Otherwise, it would have been really simple to just keep a tiny cover in here, the screw remove, and that's it. But no, now we gotta follow the rest of the video in order to get to that storage. All right, down here, we're gonna remove all the screws. The green screws are the longest screws, so they only go in one place. You cannot put a green screw, this long screw, on a short screw, which are these ones. Because uh, if you wanna put it in, it will just simply not go through, and the short ones in here, it will not go through. So don't worry about mismatching the spaces, the places for this ones. Just remove all the screws, and the black screws are only goes on the Xbox X clamp. So just remember this X clamp, these are the black screws. So you start removing all the screws, keep them in a different piles for the colors only. And I'm just gonna fast forward this portion. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the commentary. All right, once we remove all the screws in here, what you wanna do, you wanna keep it like this facing yourself, the metal sheet facing yourself. You wanna grab your fingers like this, your thumbs right in here, and you wanna open up these hinges like this. While you're opening up with these two fingers, you wanna pull this cover towards yourself. So pretty much you wanna do it like this, and then grab it and pull it out. So that's how you wanna do it. Once you remove it like that, now we can remove this cover up. 
and there we have the fan and the power unit we can grab the power unit pull it upward straight upward with a thermal putty in here don't touch that grab the fan system pull the cable jack upward just pull it up put it to one side now we're gonna remove the screws on the side panels. So remove this. These are the same screws on the X clamp on the bottom, so don't worry about mismatching them. And the screws are all the same. So remove the three screws on the, this panel, one screw on that, and three more screws on the Wi-Fi field, which is on the other side. To lift it up, grab it in a four side. Don't grab it from one side. Bring it up. This one too. Bring it up straight. Remove the three screws on this side. Unplug it. Now we need to remove this metal cover in the corner. You just want to grab it and lift it up a little bit like to the front. Just this top portion, not the don't grab the bottom one. Just this top portion towards the front and uh, you want to wiggle it around. Hold on. You want to wiggle it around and pull it up. Open up the back with your finger a little bit. So it does get kind of tough to pull out, but it will come out pretty much. You don't actually need to put it back in, but if you want, go ahead and put it back in. Once you remove that one, grab it from the USB side, bring it upward, and pull it towards yourself. And there's your M.2 SSD right in here that goes right to here to here. This is a, just a regular M.2 SSD. It has nothing special about it. I'll leave the link for a compatible one and I see what's the. We have upgraded this one to a two terabyte, so you can put up to two terabyte. If they come up with a four terabyte, you can put it because it's an M.2 PCI Express and it supports it. To remove it, all you need to do is to remove this screw on top of it. And once you remove the screw, what you want to do, you want to grab it in 45 degree angle. Don't yank it upward. You want to break it in 45 degree angle. You want to pull it backward like that. Once you get the new one in, this is a 512 gig. You want to make sure the notch in here, this notch matches the notch right on the dim. You want to bring it down in 45 degree angle all the way in there. And then you want to push it towards the motherboard. And then you want to lock it down. It has a little thermal putty right in here. So there's a thermal putty right on there. You can grab it and squish it in the metal so you can squish back in there once you put it in. All right. So what you want to do in here, you want to grab the IO side, goes all the way in in 45 degree angle inside the port and just drop it in. Grab this power in here and put it back down right where they use. If it doesn't go all the way in, you want to wiggle around, make sure it goes flicks in all the way in, and then this cover has to sit flush with the metal right there. Okay. Let me double check, make sure everything is in place nicely. Okay, yes. All right, next thing, what we want to do, we're going to, let's put the, let's go ahead and put this one, doesn't matter which one, there you go, but I'll put this front panel right on top. Power on, switch and then the wi-fi port right in here and we're going to put the screws for all of them now that we have all the side panels everything in there so what we want to do we want to put this pan right on top make sure it nice fits nicer in place Put the connector, slide it all the way in. Grab the heatsink, make sure this connector goes right in here. And squeeze it down. Grab the top part, set it down. Make sure it sits nicely, it's not wobbling or anything like that. You want to grab it like this, and you want to grab the cover like this. You want to bring this cover all the way in like that. Once it's sitting there, you want to open up this legs right in here on the back sides. 
and it's gonna fall down right in there. And once you finish with that one, you wanna put the four screws for X clamp and the green screws goes in the long spaces and the short one goes all over the plates. And that's how you can replace or remove the storage for your Xbox One Series S console. And again, follow the link in the video description if you wanna know how to install your OS and operating system on your console. It's really easy and forward to do it. You require a USB with an at least 16 gig storage or 8 gig, I believe. And that should be all. I'm just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws. I hope you guys like this video and help you guys out. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Before I put all the screws, I'm just gonna show you guys how to put the bottom cover on. Just grab it, bring it down like in an offset position and slide it in and put the last two screws right on top. And that's it.